So we just got these new CMT locked Dato Pro Dato Stacks in the warehouse yesterday and I wanted to do a short review because I think they have some really important features. One of which is a huge safety feature that I think is worth considering this blade, um, maybe even replacing your current Dato Stack. So by way of definition, uh, Dato Stack is a adjustable width blade that you can use in your table saw to cut grooves or dados. Um, it consists of three uh, multiple parts, but it has two outside blades. The two outside blades actually cut the, uh, the outside of your groove, and then the chippers clean out the waste from between. Blades can have between 24 and 12, 12 and 24 teeth. Um, the carbide usually sits proud of both sides of the outside blade and also of the chipper. You can see that it's the carbide's very proud of that chipper. And you stack these together and then you, you know, use various chippers and shims and you get whatever thickness groove, you know, whatever size groove you need. Then you just stick this on your table saw and you run it. Um, I've used these for years. Uh, they can be a little scary because it really is a wide blade um, that you're using, but you can, you can use them safely if you're careful. But not every, everybody believes that um, or is a fan, especially those across the pond. For many years, these have been banned in Europe. Um, and the reason they've been banned in Europe, or there's three main reasons, I think. One is when you stack all these together, like you did a full width dado, uh, and you put all these, these blades and chippers together, this thing could weigh six pounds. And when you're using this and you turn your table saw off, this thing can coast for a long time. And while it's coasting, you know, there's a chance you could, you know, come in contact with it. And so that's one reason that you, you, is ban you banned them. Another reason is because the, you can't use your normal uh, splitters or some of the guards don't work. Um, but I think the biggest reason is that when you're using this blade and if you were to come into contact with something and it would stop the blade abruptly, the blade would stop. But this chipper continues to move. And when it continues to move, that carbide that sits proud of the chipper is gonna hit the carbide that sits proud of the blade and shear it off. Now this may seem unlikely, but if you own a saw stop and you ever activate that cartridge and you have a dado blade in there, your dado blade is gonna stop instantly and your chippers are gonna to continue to move and carbide is gonna break off. If you wanna see this in action, I, I'm gonna put a link in my description below to a video done by Jonathan Katz Moses, where he looked at a dado blade and what happens when it gets, when it gets, uh, when contacts the saw stop cartridge and carbide went everywhere. There was shrapnel flying all over the place. It's actually quite terrifying. So those are the, some of the reasons that um, the EU has banned these blades. Interestingly enough, these blades here are now compliant in the, in the EU and they're allowed to be sold. Um, and I'll show you why that is. First reason is uh, CMT has figured out a way so this whole unit can be locked together. So these chippers can't move independently of the outside blades. They've done that in two ways. One way is they've taken behind every tooth, there's a little notch. And that notch is just the right size to accept the, the tooth that sticks proud of the chippers. So when you, when you put this thing together, you'll see that that tooth from the chipper sits right in that notch, so this, this cannot move. So that takes care of the chippers when they're in contact with the outside blade, but what about the rest when you're stacking these up? Well, they've done that by making these shims, these plastic shims, and then so between each chipper and between each chipper and also the other outside blade, there's these shims have these little ribs here and these little ribs fit right around the cutout in the blade. So now this whole thing is locked together. So you can stack this up however you want. You can stack it up and um, all it's one unit and it will never, that carbide will never break off if it's, if it ever comes in contact with the saw stop cartridge. So that's a pretty interesting feature. So a couple other features I think are worth or noteworthy is that these chippers have more mass than this one does. This is just, this is a two, 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 two tooth chipper. This is also two teeth, but it has more mass to it. So when you put this together, when you're running this, it's gonna power through wood much more readily. It's not gonna slow down like it would if it was a lighter blade. The other thing that's important is that this has 12 teeth. It may seem like it's not gonna make uh, as smooth of a cut, but actually the fewer teeth allows, these gullets here allows the gu to, to carry the waste away. So this actually cuts faster than it would if you have a 24 tooth. Um, and another thing that's interesting is that these, the way that this, these teeth are designed, this is a, like it has a bevel going one direction. So this outside point 
scores the outside of the, of the cut. And then this flat one here actually cleans it out. This scores it, this cleans it out. So this actually produces a much flatter cut, bottom cut than my old dado stack. So here's my old dado stack when I use it. And you can see right in the corner there, there are these little bat ears. That, that's necessary because it has to score the veneer um, so it doesn't tear out. But those can actually be quite noticeable. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but if you're doing a piece of fine furniture, that can actually show from a distance. Now the CMT blade down here, it has the same little batter, but it's so tiny, you can barely see it. Glue would easily fill that gap. So that's pretty amazing. Um, the set comes with a chart that you can, you can uh, so you can set up whatever width you need from 1560 force all the way up to 1316. So it tells you which, you know, the outside blades, it tells you which chippers you need, tells you which locked shim you need. And there's also another pack of shims so you can make whatever thickness dado you need. Um, and then um, you, the another thing that's, that's interesting is that when you lock this all together, you can actually install it on your saw as one unit as opposed to having to install one blade at a time, one chipper at a time. So that can actually save time and make it much more easy. So dado can be a scary tool. Okay, it, it can. It's, it's a wide blade spinning and you're making these wide cuts. But one thing you don't want to do is add another level of uh, <clears throat> danger to the use of a dado blade by having by the potentially having the carbide that can come off if you strike an object which stops the blade or if it comes in contact with a saw stop cartridge. So we have these in stock now, ttools.com. <laughs>